Hello! What's good everybody? It's your boy Roman Puffs here with some more OPBR. Today we got the arrival of your boy, the Warlord of the Sea, Captain Buggy. Now, I was actually kind of excited, like, prior to him arriving, of what he was going to consist of. I was really hoping for, like, a cool looking buggy, but, like, something about this buggy just isn't striking me right. But... What I want to do is go over, take a look at him, take a look at the step up, and see whether we should summon on him, and go over whether I think you should summon. I personally don't think I want to, because I don't think I'm ready after... We're still recovering from Mama, and I think I am more of a Caesar person anyway, so let's take a look and see what Buggy consists of. Here is his intro video. He's big, he's flappy, he's a... Uh... Okay, his attacks look alright. The attack sequence looks good. Um, that ability is interesting. I like that. That ability, I think that ability could potentially do well. It's a little far away. It's kind of hard to see. This ability, I don't know if that ability is going to be all right. I think it'll be too easy to dodge. It's way too easy to dodge. But like, let's go one more time. I don't like his body. I don't. Something about his body doesn't. Seem, he's like a little squishy flag. He's too flat to me. Like something about it, I just don't like. I don't think I want to. I just don't want to play this. I don't. It's not me. <laughs> it may be other people, and he may be good. But like, we'll look at the traits here in a second. Okay, so he's got that. I he. Uh, I just don't know. I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that. Alright, let's take a look at his actual step up. His step up is a 170, which they do this for kind of the less popular characters, which honestly I thought Buggy would have been more popular, but he's not looking that impressive, so I guess that's why he's only 170. I really don't want to waste the gems on this 170 banner, just me personally, but let's take a look and see what his like abilities consist of. Uh, 2173 attack, okay, that's pretty like solid normal attack here, like that's fine. Uh, HP's pretty good. And defense is like right around the same area. That's like fine. Uh, chop chop double cannon. Let's look at the damage on this. Long range, multiple hit. He does multiple hit. Keep that in mind. Uh, acquire speed debuff effect at level five. That's really not that useful. You're an attacker. I mean, I guess it's uh, useful if you don't one shot them there. Uh, skill attack. You can hit two times, so that's a total of six sixty damage. That is not bad. It's not the greatest, but it's not bad. But it's only twenty three second cooldown, so that's really solid. If you put yourself with a twenty percent CDR you'll put yourself at about what is that like roughly 18 ish 20 ish somewhere around there somewhere around that seconds if my math is right next up sky rush a long range charge attack you know how we feel about charge attacks they're usually not that good uh, continue to do short range multiple hit damage with a skill button is held down with a high critical chance the attack ends for a certain period of time and ends at the skill button is released you are able to move while holding down the skill button that's actually kind of fun you can have a max of 10 hits. Skill attack, 55. So there's the initial hit when you swoop, and then you spin. You can hit for 55 times 10, but you really won't ever hit that 10 times. It's still only 31 second cooldown. That's pretty solid. Uh, when attacked by an enemy, 50% chance to reduce damage received by 20%. Okay, I really don't care for those it's like traits. So those are kind of meh to me, but they can come in handy. When attacking an enemy, you get bonus 30 damage on the enemy's treasure. That's usual per each attacker. When dealing damage 6 times in 10 seconds, create a trait area for 10 seconds. When you or an ally enters the trait area, boost attack for 20%, 10 seconds, and recover HP by 15%. So it's like Sengoku's, but it's an attack buff instead of a defense buff. I like that. So you need to deal six damage 6 times in 10 seconds. That's kind of... A little trickier maybe your skill too will help you get that up but that's actually really interesting i really like that that's kind of cool that's spicy uh when your strength is more than 70 percent reduce damage received by 30 percent okay nice when your team has more treasure secured boost the cooldown reduction speed of skill two by 50 percent okay that's fine so when you're ahead you actually kind of bamboozle so kind of like boa hancock in a way and then the character boost uh I really, fam, I can't get myself to pull on this. I really don't, it's, it's not for me. If he had, like, a cooler body or, like, there's something cooler looking about him, I would want to pull, but I'm still recovering from the mama. I'm still enjoying playing mama, by the way, but I just, I don't think this buggy's for me. Do I think you should summon? 
He looks like an all right unit. He's honestly kind of looking like another version of like, like another Luffy Taro. Like Luffy Taro has not been like anything crazy special, but he's an all right unit. I honestly think that's what Buggy will be. I don't think he'll be anything amazing. Maybe with that attack buff, it will be insane. Like there's like a possible chance with that attack buff. So if you're looking towards buffing your team, but you got to be able to get that six hits off. So that's kind of trickier and may not always happen because your attack sequence is a three hitter. And then even if you do double, double attack and then do double, double again, they'll get knocked down. So there's only four hits. So you're kind of relying on that skill too. And along with the skill. So if you like attack, attack, and then maybe skill one, if that's even possible, I don't, the skill one only hits twice though. So a little awkward the way that's going to work. I think he'll be kind of tricky to get that attack buff off, but we'll see. Um, in general, if I could say a yes or a no, I, I I don't really think you should summon. Unless you really love this character. If you really like this character, I always recommend summoning for the characters that you love. But for me, he's only an alright to me, so I'm not really going to summon. And that is a lot. I don't really care to have him in my collection. So... That's what I have for you guys. If you want to summon, go ahead. Let me know if you guys summon, how your luck was. Usually these banners are really, really good though. Usually you get like what you want. So you have like four star guaranteed, four star guaranteed, and then your new character guaranteed. So usually you get some pretty good stuff. So if the Caesar one is like this, I'll probably, it's very likely I summon for Caesar. But that's all I wanted to cover with you guys. I don't think, I just can't summon. I, I can't get myself to summon on him. He's not for me so with that that's all i wanted to cover for you guys i let me know how you like feel about him if you guys like him i am just not doing it but maybe we'll do caesar we'll get there so let me know if you guys got him if you guys like him like let me hit me up and let me know how you feel about him but with that that's all i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i'm your boy roman puss and we're gonna be taking off yeah hurry! peace beautiful people